Hi YouTube, this is Ronald A. G.I. Nerd Commander here with a look at Overkill from the 1991 G.I. Joe uh, Talking Commanders series. Uh, before we kind of get into the figure itself, uh, just a quick note. I just want to say that the backpack that he came with was actually attached to the figure, but each one of the figures that I got from this line I would always unscrew the, the uh, backpack. Uh, which is actually very easy to do. You just take a uh, small screwdriver, undo these, and uh, down here is a battery housing unit um, with the screws. You just take it out. There you go. You're done. So we'll get to this in just a little bit. Set it aside for now. And for now, let's take a look at one of my favorite figures of all time Overkill. All right. So. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that he does come with. Now, mine is not 100% complete, but we will get to that in just a second here. He does come with this really cool, um, very large, what I assume some sort of laser gun. Um, I know the camera probably is not able to pick it up too well because of the very bright red plastic. Uh, almost a neon color. So... There we are, there's that. Pretty cool, you could have them, you know, hold it with both hands if you had both hands to the figure. Unfortunately, uh, he came with one alternative right hand, and that is long, long gone from mine. But in its place, I still do have the uh, claw hand with this neat little uh, laser thingamadigi babo right there, and you could take the figures, take your Joe figure. And uh, just lock them in right there. Really, really cool. There you go. So, okay, we'll just take this guy out here. Go and just kind of set him aside. Anyway, like I said, uh, he would also come with a very, very small alternative right hand that you could just pop right into the peg right there. Much like the uh, bats. And this guy was supposed to be the commander of the bats, so makes sense. And here is his claw laser. Very, very cool. Set that aside for right now, and let's take a look at Overkill. Now, like I said, this guy is really, really awesome. A huge amount of detail throughout the body. Um, just really, really cool. I loved the... Uh, uh, neon green um, wires going through here. His knees were supposed to have a flamethrower in them, at least according to his file card. Uh, kind of interesting to note, I'm not one to usually go into the file card of figures, but um, if I, I'm just going to pull it up real quick. This is just kind of something interesting to note about the figure itself. Uh, hold on one second here, YouTube. Hopefully this will load and not mess up too much of, my own, of the uh, video that's recording right now. But Overkill, according to his file card, was actually um, not just the commander of the bass, but he was also a, um, his primary job is to operate, oh, it just cut out, operate the destructive Cobra Earthquake battle vehicle. I thought that was kind of odd that in his uh, file card it says that when, I'm not 100% sure exactly um, how to fit the figure in the Earthquake, but if you have this large backpack on there, but anywho. Just kind of a neat little note of his file card. Um, Overkill, just a very, very short thing as uh, the computer freezes thanks to that window being open. Anyway, um, yes, he was, at, he was supposed to be a, a commander of the bat unit. Um, basically, he was so expensive to make that Cobra Commander couldn't afford to make all of his bats this good, so he became the... Uh, commander of the bat unit itself. Anywho, getting back to the figure. Uh, like I said, really, really cool detail throughout the figure. I'm going to try to show the head sculpt as best as I can. Um, the head sculpt itself is one of my favorites ever made. I love the little uh, aiming eye X there. Very, very cool. And really cool thing to note is that you could open up his chest. You do have to kind of raise this arm here. You can open up his uh, chest here, 
and coming out would be this neat little gun which in his appearance in a uh, cartoon did um, also make his appearance his appearance the gun itself and GI Commander ruins another video but I will not hit the stop button just yet I'll keep going anywho so he's got the really cool gun here that you can flip open set it back up there very cool translucent chest amazing detail on it just a really really cool figure all in all I mean you can't go wrong with the guy he's actually probably cooler than any bat ever made a shame that he hasn't been remade already but we'll put this alternative hand on him and set him on a peg here if it will fit okay that foot didn't want to go on there because I'm wasting time during a video anyway so we'll set him right there beautiful just really really cool figure now let's get to his backpack that like I said would be attached to the figure itself um, and there's also a little peg here that you would be able to uh... oops sorry hit the button that you would be actually be able to fit his alternative hands onto if you had both alternative hands so anyway a um, little bit of detail up here for this thing and now let's try this out there was a I'm just gonna say wave for a lack of a better term there was a wave before this where the uh, backpacks could be taken in and out of the figure and they would have four uh, action sounds instead of battle commands but these ones were all attached and they had three battle commands and then one action sound so let's listen to a few of them now that one is destroy hopefully you can hear that bats attack very cool uh, another little quick note these are the same batteries from 1991 so and they're still working today and no battery acid has leaked through here so we just had bat stack and let's listen to this one now feel free to leave a comment if um, when you heard this for the first time it might have sounded like something else but the actual term right here is supposed to be wipe out it does actually sound like something else and if you hear that other thing that's not what it's supposed to be but if you leave a comment you will win a prize except for one person who I've talked to about this before you do not win a prize well you already have a prize you, you already have something that you're getting anyway and then you also have this uh... the action uh, laser sound so very very cool detail throughout the backpack itself also looks really really good um, the only major problem that would ever occur with one of these figures is that the backpacks are so heavy that after a while if these knees get too loose and you still have the backpack attached the figure will just completely collapse so other than that though at least for this figure that we're taking a look at here just amazing really really cool figure um, still one of my favorites one of my favorite uh, Cobra villains per se uh, really really cool mine doesn't have a whole whole lot of wear and tear on it which is a nice thing except for right here um, a little bit of the uh, gold has kind of rubbed off but you can barely even see especially with the really shitty camera I'm using right now you can't see it at all so anyway this has been the one and only GI Nerd Commander thank you so very much for taking the time to watch this uh, what are your thoughts of the figure? What are your thoughts of the action sounds backpack? What are your thoughts of uh, the lion in general? Would you like to see something like this back again? I actually wouldn't, but hey, that's just me. As far as like uh, sounds go for figures talking, eh, I really don't care. So, but would I like to see this figure remade? Oh yeah, as as this version. There are other versions of it made, which I don't really like, but. Uh, this particular one, I would absolutely go nuts over. So, 
This has been the one and only January Commander. Thank you so much for taking time and watching. Thank you so much for taking the time to hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to hit it as many times as possible. I know it only counts one time, but hey, hit it again right now. I don't care. Be sure to leave a comment. I'd really appreciate it. It's great reading all the comments. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this.